Hello everybody and welcome back. Today I wanted to make this video because I am three months cancer free and this kind of positivity is fueling my need to make this video today. Um, for all of you who are coming here for entertainment, I'm sorry this is going to be more of an educational video and I do intend to make more of these just for those who are suffering or have suffered the way that I have. If you're like me and approximately 200 million other men and women around the world who are suffering from any kind of thyroid condition, you've probably heard of the word Synthroid or some other form of synthetic hormone for your thyroid. In Canada alone, one in every 10 people are affected by a thyroid condition and more than half go undiagnosed and untreated. It's hereditary and even though four, more than four women in my family suffer from a thyroid condition, None have had cancer the way that I have. I'll go more into the science behind the thyroid in, a, in another video, but since my thyroid medication was finally normalized and stabilized in my body, I thought it was important to make this video. Synthroid is a man-made drug to help counteract the symptoms of underactive thyroid or hypothyroidism. The main ingredient in this specific pill is levothyroxone sodium. The generic brand of Synthroid is simply just levothyroxone. It's used to normalize and restore balance in the body if taken properly. Synthroid ranges in doses. Personally, I have been on the bottom end of the spectrum all the way to the highest dose that you can have. And as of now, I am taking two pills a day to kind of regulate my energy and my moods more during the day. It's dramatically helping. Your endocrinologist will play around with the dosage to see how it works with your body. Everybody's different. This will happen until your body accepts the pill and starts functioning normally again. In the adjustment period, I have found that my symptoms were mainly getting, having trouble falling asleep, and then once I'm asleep, I can't wake up for the life of me. Uh, I have no appetite, little to no appetite, a lot. I know it may be different for more people, but the effects of this have drastically cut my appetite in half. And I do have very bad motion sickness, which is accompanied by dizziness and nausea. Now you play the biggest role in helping your endo make these pills work with your body. You need to be diligent when taking so that you and your endocrinologist have the correct results. If you aren't taking these properly, your body will hate you and your underactive thyroid, or if you do not have a thyroid, you will, your body will start to work as if it is underactive and you won't feel very well. To me, I get very, very mood swingy, I feel very spaced out. Um, they're very important to take these pills. They just help your normal functions every day. But like I said, it's your responsibility to take these pills so that your endocrinologist can adjust them accordingly. Like I've mentioned, Synthroid comes in 12 different dosing options, ranging from 0.05 milligrams to 3, 3.0, which is 300. Kind of funny to decipher, but these are what I am taking 0 0.150 milligrams twice daily. So those are my pills. I need a refill. But this does bring me to my next topic, which is you need to take your Synthroid on an empty stomach, either before going to bed or early in the morning, and within at least four hours of taking any other medications. This is imperative because if not taken properly, it will lower your body's ability to absorb this pill properly. So basically with hypothyroidism, your thyroid is underactive or too low. Boom! This annoying little pill that we have to take replaces all the functions that our thyroid did before. It helps to normalize our thyroxone levels. So all in all, please remember to take your Synthroid on an empty stomach. And if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. And as always, if you or anybody you know suspects you have a thyroid condition, please do not let it go overlooked. It can end way more traumatically than it needs to. Thanks again, guys. See you in my next video. Bye.